the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. Okay, Bryce, congrats, a spectacular performance in your opponent's backyard. Walk us through the fight. Man, it feels great, man. I'm glad to come back and fight another opponent in their backyard. You know, my last fight was in New Orleans. I fought Brandon Savers in his backyard, and it feels great to be back to fight somebody else in their backyard. It was a really great fight between two high-level boxers. You could tell both of you had a lot of boxing experience. What made the difference tonight? I feel like... We, like, like you said, we both had a lot of experience, but I was the man who won anymore. My technique was was awfully like good. Skills were there. I feel like I was just a better man tonight. Walk us through the knockdowns. Did you see openings? How did you set that up? At the gate, when he caught me with a jab, I, I wanted to see how fast and how quick he was. So once I got that, I took that, I took that information and went back to my corner and started loading and loading. But after the first round, I see everything open up. What was your strategy going into this fight? Hit and no get and stay pretty. As you, as you guys see, I'm trying not to get hit. I'm trying to go back to my box, my, my regular sport, which is boxing. And when you had him down the first time, you knew that it was a matter of time. But yeah, the first one, I was actually surprised that he got up. But after that, I knew he wasn't going to last any longer. What do you think is your biggest strength in there? Uh, my height and my speed. I feel like a lot of guys in my weight, my division, they're not expecting a guy, a young guy, to be that tall and that quick for his size. Now, you're kind of a hybrid fighter right now. You go back and forth between boxing and bare knuckle. You just fought two weeks ago in the zone, right? Uh, is it important for you to be so active right now? Very important because I feel like a lot of a lot of young fighters are active, and that f***s them up in the long run. But like I said, I'm blessed, and I'm just glad to be here. What adjustments do you have to make? What's the biggest difference? I feel like in boxing, you can take a little punch, like a little punishment, which I'm not trying to, but you know, it's, it's glove, you got cushion. At burn knuckle, I'm not trying to get hit at all. A little a little jab to split you open, like you see tonight. What is more fun for you, boxing or bare knuckle? Of course, man. I like boxing, I love bare knuckle. Actually, in fact, I love both, but I feel like bare knuckle is way better because it's more electric. I like, I like to be here, I like to be both, but I feel like bare knuckle is way more electric and it gets you up faster. The sensation is different when you hit somebody as well, I guess, right? Very, very different, very different. You hit them, you feel everything. It, as in boxing too, but I like, Brent Knuckle is good. Where do you see yourself in the future? Are you gonna focus on one of them or are you still gonna wanna do both? Uh, I'm trying to get a belt in bare knuckle and in boxing, but I'm trying to get a, a, a belt here first, then go back to boxing. But I would like to do both at the same time, if I can. Tell us about your nickname, Baba Yeager. Yes, Baba Yeager. My name actually came from, have you seen the movie John Wick? It came from that. It's not the boogeyman, it's the person you sent to kill the boogeyman. So actually my, fa my father gave it to me and it stuck with me, so. The crowd here in Montana is amazing, right? Amazing experience. So did it spur you on rather than, you know, make you nervous? I feel like I'm up for anything. I feel like the crowd makes me go even harder. So it, it doesn't faze me. Who do you want next? Anybody, listen, the top five, anybody, top 10, I, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go out there and showcase my skills and be everybody. Do you wanna say, thank any sponsors, family? First of all, I'd like to shout out to God. Without him, I'd be, this wouldn't be possible. I wouldn't be here, you wouldn't be here, none of us would be here. And second, I'd like, I'd like to thank my team, my sponsors, BK Shark Bets, um, Glasshouse Custom, The Fighting News, uh, Glass Jaw. Everybody, everybody who's behind me, my family, my brother, my coach, my brother, Ryan Perez, Nelson, Nelson Lopez, my promoter, my father, everybody, my mother, everybody. So you just mentioned God, so your faith is very important to you? Very, very important, very, because without him, none of this be possible. I'm Bryce Henry, and we're here with Bare Knuckle News, and nobody, no one beats us to the punch.